This is a 150 watt light bulb. I've got it plugged into the mains right now via a variac. That's a means of adjusting the power to it. If I turn the power up, just as we'd expect, the light bulb filament lights up. And of course, if I wanted to now, we could leave this on and this would continue to run for the lifetime of the light bulb, maybe hundreds of hours. I'm not going to do that though. I'm going to turn it down, unplug it, then I'm going to take this light bulb and remove the glass envelope from the outside. Once we've done that, I'll be back. This is the 150 watt light bulb, only now the glass has been broken off. And what I intend to do is replace that glass envelope with a magnum condom. If we plug that light bulb in right now, the filament would light up, but being in contact with oxygen, it would burn out relatively quickly. What I'm hoping is that if we enclose it in this condom, and then fill the condom with a gas other than oxygen, I've got hydrogen here, we ought to be able to blow it up and light up the light bulb filament. Now, got to be careful not to break the condom, of course. And I've got a rubber band here. I'm going to use that to just fasten this condom a little more securely onto the base of the bulb than it otherwise would be. So, I'll just get that nice and securely fastened. And now, let's blow up the condom. Now, I don't want to blow it all the way up, because if I do, I know that it'll burst. About there seems to be optimal. I'll turn off the hydrogen supply. Now, let's plug this back in and see if we can indeed get it to work as a light bulb. If I increase the voltage now, filament smokes just a little at first because there was a tiny bit of air left in there, but now I can actually turn the light bulb off and it works perfectly well as a light bulb. And we could leave that on there for a while. Now, that's turned all the way up. That's hydrogen gas inside the condom. Why isn't it burning? For the same reason the light bulb filament's not burning. There's no oxygen there. Now, just to convince you that indeed that is hydrogen in there, and not some inert gas, let's set fire to it. And we should get a fairly nice explosion. And indeed we do. Quite a nice noise to it as well. 